Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's our gymnastics day. Every Wednesday now is our third week. We've been learning some new different skills. These are challenging, so just focus on quality. I'll give you some variations for each one. So the first couplet will be three rounds, five to eight reps of each. We're gonna start off on the rower here. Okay, so you're gonna start basically feet on the, on the seat that slides, okay? We're gonna try to lean forward, point your hands out about 45 degrees, bring your knees to your chest, push away from the ground as much as possible, and then extend back out. So the, har the more you lean forward, the harder this will be. But if I talked about push away from the ground, we don't want to be sinking down our shoulders. You're thinking about kind of rounding your upper back, chin tuck, really pushing away as hard as you can, right? Sliding your legs out and in for five to eight reps, right? The further you lean your shoulders forward, the harder that will be. So if I'm straight, shoulder over the wrist, that's gonna be the easiest one, okay? So five to eight there, and then we're gonna rest as needed five to eight chin over the bar leg lifts. So normally we're hanging for a leg lift with straight arms. Here we're gonna be in a top of the chin up position. So you're gonna be holding here and we're gonna lift. Good control. Try to avoid swinging for five to eight leg lifts. You can of course do knee raises. All good. Focusing on quality for three rounds back and forth. After that, we're gonna to go to uh, three rounds, three movements. The first one's going to be Tempo ring dips, all right? So the vast majority of people will need a band for this, all right? So we're gonna do three seconds down each rep, okay? So we'll start at the top. We'll do one, two, three. Pause for three, two, one. Try to explode up and hold that top position as well for three reps, okay? So we'll go through that for six reps. From there, we're gonna to go to uh, more chin-up work. So this is gonna be half and half, four of each. So here's what it looks like. So we're gonna do half a pull-up four times, okay? And then you're gonna pull all the way to the top and do the top half four times, okay? So you do that four and four, half and half, use a band as needed. And then the last one will be eight to 12 push-ups, and I'll give you a version for the more advanced athletes. Um, so basic push-up, shoulder to ankle, nice straight line, touch the chest to the floor, good lockout, okay? The way we make this harder is the same way we made that row thing harder. It's called a planche push-up. We lean our shoulders forward, right, and see how far we can get our hands back as we press. So the closer they get to your hips, the harder that gets. So that's the way it's called planching. You can make the movement harder. So three rounds through that, guys, for quality. That's our strength. Let's talk conditioning. All right, so our kettlebell conditioning every Wednesday, we have a 12-minute AMRAP today. It's going to be three movements. The first one is the American kettlebell swing. American means that the kettlebell goes all the way overhead. So you're going to do one American swing, right? From there, you're going to grab the bell, right, the ball part, and you're going to do a thruster, OK? From there, you're gonna to drop to the ground, and you're gonna do um, a toes to kettlebell. So this is arms straight, and you bring your toes up to the kettlebell and back down. So it's gonna be a 12-minute AMRAP of those three movements. You start with one rep of each, then two reps of each, three, four, as high as you can go in 12 minutes. So notoriously, the first few rounds kind of feel silly and fast, but you start getting into those numbers over six, seven reps starts taking some time. So that's our, uh, our conditioning. Let's talk about our grip finisher. So our finisher, we've been working on a lot of grip. So this is gonna be more single arm work. We can of course use both arms. We can use a band to help support ourselves or the side posts if you need. But it's gonna be trying to do a knee raise while you're hanging with one arm. So find that position, lift your knees, okay? 15 on each arm. So what I meant by using a band is if you use a band, right? That'll help support you a little bit. That's one way. You can also use the post, like when you let go of both, when you're here, if you like let go of one hand, you can kind of use the post to support you. You can use your hand. Main thing here is working on our grip. So if you just want to work on hanging for one to two minutes, uh, single arm, both hands, that's the main for, uh, focus here. So that is it for today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.